Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. Check out these healthcare jobs that are hiring right now. We're going to be starting off with this opportunity with LabCorp. So I've done LabCorp in the past and LabCorp is looking for a customer service representative. This is for their call center and this is a full-time position as you can see here. And also it is fully remote. This position is going to pay between $15 and $31.60. That is the salary range. And it is a Monday through Friday position, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Mountain time zone. We're going to act as a liaison between LabCorp and its customer base and patients. You're going to be helping to re resolve routine customer requests with products or services via inbound, outbound, or internet. So the internet component is likely live chart, but if you definitely want to know more, this is definitely a good question to ask during an interview. So very helpful. So like I mentioned in the past, one of the things that is essential to have during an interview is to print out the job description. Very, very important. So I cannot overemphasize that. So this particular one the job description is something, responsibility is what you should have. Should they call you for an interview, you know exactly what was written and you have a copy of it. And that is what you're going to talk through. So really essential. So with this position, you're going to also be providing additional education as well as information to their client base or customers as they need it. So making sure that any type of questions they have are being answered. So you'll be doing that either via live chat and they didn't talk about email. So, but email could also fall in the category of internet, or you're going to be doing inbound as well as outbound calls. So this is a very comprehensive role. They also talk about working in multiple databases, which is very similar to doing a data a specialist type of role. So this looks to me as a merge between customer service, being on the phone, being helpful, as well as data specialist, which focuses primarily on data, working in different databases, taking information from one into another, making sure across the board information are accurate and also up to date. What are they looking for? Another um, important piece to this is uh, compliance. HIPAA compliance, making sure that any type of rules associated with HIPAA, the frontline staff, which is the customer service rep in this case, is very alert to those things and making sure that nothing is in violation. With LabCorp, some of the requirements that they're looking for, they're looking for you to have high school diploma or GED. Associate's degree is highly desired, but it's not required. So if you have it, definitely include it in your resume. They talk about knowledge of Salesforce. They talk about Microsoft Office products. Those are requirements. So definitely want to make sure. So anything that says preferred is just something that they would like to have but it's not necessary. And then anything that says required means that that is essential to you being successful at this job. So that's the first opportunity. The next one we're going to be reviewing is this one um, titled Clinical Quality Insurance Specialist, and it is with Brightways Counseling Group. So this is another healthcare position. And it, this role is someone who is experienced to support the daily functions of clinical managers. This role is part of the HR team and will provide a high level of support to our clinical managers. We're looking for someone who can assist with the development of systemic monitoring and evaluation of various aspects of our clinical processes to ensure that our standards of quality are being met and maintained. The ideal candidate for this role will be highly analytical can effectively communicate any patterns or concerns to the clinical management. So with this one, you're going to be triaging all administrative questions coming through to cl uh, clinicians, whether it's from uh, clin clinicians themselves, other clinicians from other facilities, or in some cases from people themselves, patients themselves, supporting all administrative type of tasks around the department, making sure that 
questions about referrals, complaints are being addressed, providing that support just in general, uh, conducting annual audits to make sure that clinicians that are hired have the right credentials in place, really just doing a bunch of uh, credentialing as well. Different items are listed here. So overall, this individual is going to be responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the team. Education requirement, they're asking for bachelor's degrees preferred, but once they say that, they don't call out any other education requirements, which makes me believe that this has no education requirement. They are looking for excellent verbal and written communications. Primarily, these are all soft skills. However, they do talk about Microsoft Office products, which are more hard skills. So making sure that you uh, go ahead and watch my previous videos to get more details around those. For this position, the salary is between $32 and $38 per hour. They do itemize all their benefits here, which I really like because there is no surprises with this. So you see this, this is what they are offering, and then you make your decision if this works for you. Then you move on through the application process as well as the interview process. So that's what this uh, position is about. So brightwayscounseling.com, they have this role open right now. And this is a very decent role because the salary is quite on the high side. And in terms of what you're going to be doing, you're working with patients, uh, you're not a clinician, as long as you are able to navigate all that, you should be able to on this job. All right. The next position, which is also with a healthcare organization, is Inogen. Inogen is a healthcare organization and they're looking for a patient intake advocate level two. This particular position, as the title implies, is a little beyond the customer service representative role, but more on the higher side. So we're going to still go over them just to see who potentially can work this type of job. So the patient intake works within the patient intake business unit and is the key individual responsible for receiving and submitting while ensuring they follow all applicable accreditation, compliance, or regulatory processes. You're going to be responsible as well for gathering all information, customer service related. You're going to be communicating different timelines, expectations to patients, helping them schedule their appointments, making sure that any paperwork that is relevant to them are taken care of, following through with them as well. So this particular role is quite comprehensive from researching to analyzing to communication. All of these has to be intact. So what are they looking for? They're looking for associate's degree in communications, healthcare management, or related field. They're also looking for one to three years of experience reviewing documents for Medicare, billing insurance, prescription requirements, and so forth. So with this position, when I looked up the salary, you can easily get up to $30 per hour for this role. So depending on what the organization has in its budget, but typically uh, that is the average. All right. So now that we have addressed all these three roles, is if you have any questions based on these three opportunities, please come back, leave it in the comment section, subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed already. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here. Thank you. Till next time, I wish you guys all the very best of luck. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.